Hi everybody, it's Carolyn Murphy with Carol's Beauty Box. How are you? Please come on when you get a chance. Uh, before I do anything, I have to clean my brushes, so uh, let me do that real fast. But I thought I'd come on and say hi. What's going on? So you see, you uh, do a little bit of that, swirl around. And that brush is clean. See that? Hi! Thanks for joining. How are you? A little brush cleaner to clean these brushes that haven't been cleaned in a couple days. Shame on me. Just one spray and it comes on. Hi! Please say hi. Thanks for joining. I'm just cleaning my brushes before I get started. So we'll do the other side too. Hi, Christina. Thanks for watching. So before I get started, but I just wanted to say, hey, how is everybody doing? What are you doing? What time is it where you are? It's 3 p.m. where I am. I'm on Eastern Daylight Time. I don't have to holler. This one has a little green on it, so we spray it. And I'm just, hi, how are you, Heidi? Thanks for joining. I'm cleaning my brushes before I do my makeup. I haven't cleaned them in a couple days, so shame on me. And look how clean that is. One more squirt on that one. Ah, there we go. See how clean they are? Ooh. This is the deluxe. So what's going on, Heidi? What time is it there? where you are and where are you from a message came across the deluxe brushes clean and the shader con uh yeah the concealer powder brush that's it and i use the powder more so so what's going on? What kind of look should I do? Should I do a natural look? Should I do a going out look? Should I just do my brows? What do you want me to do? Okay, that's done. I have my mascara warming up. I know I'm gonna go with brown mascara. Oh, that's the brushes. Look what the it did to the towel though. That's great. And this is our brush cleaner. And it goes on sale. If we don't have any left, it'll be available in October as our main tool uh, for brush cleaners. So that's good. So I'll start with the Touch Glorious Face Primer, okay? So how are you, Heidi? You just need a pea size to join. I mean, pea size like that. And uh, what's the weather like where you are? It's raining here right now. I think um, starting tomorrow we'll be getting remnants of Florence. So then we put the primer on all over. I try to be gentle with my skin. I'm just trying to go over it lightly. Let me go up here. Yeah, and right in here where the pores are, the primer seals and um, keeps the makeup from going in your pores. So it really sits, the makeup sits on top of your face with this. So. So what kind of look, what shall we do? So I have arthritis in my right thumb, so I picked up a brace. Um, someone uh, rolled over it with a roller skate, and so now I have arthritis in it. So I have a, a brace to put on to immobilize it. How are you, Heidi? Oh, you're in Hot Springs, Arkansas, two o'clock. I'm doing good, and it's nice and warm and sunny there. That's good, that's good. Yeah, 
So I'll let the face primer dry. I know I'm going to do my brows, so we'll use the uh, Brow Obsession Palette. And by the way, our kudos is the Brow Obsession Palette, your choice of colors. You get a, a mascara with that, your choice of colors. I'm putting it in to warm it up. It's always good to warm up your mascara because it makes it go on easier. You get your choice of the Brow Artist brush with the spoolie or the Brow Artist brush. I um, used to roller skate a long time ago. I don't, I, I don't skate anymore though. But I have a friend who, who figure skates. So. so you get your choice of the Brow Artist brush or the Brow Artist brush with the spoolie on the end. And the spoolie will just help to brush your brows. And this is a nice uh, firm spoolie, yet it doesn't hurt. It's a soft, firm spoolie. So, so I'm going to go in with the uneven. I'm going to try the new brush too. Because I got this with the, the kudos I ordered. And you can see mine's really going. So what I could do is just do my eye look with, with the brow palette too to show you how versatile that is. We could do that too. So I'm going to line my brows first. And then go under here. Oh, sorry, I have to, yeah. Oh, this is, um, I have brunette or medium. I think it's medium. So there's light, dark, or light, medium, and dark, and I have medium, so. And these are highly pigmented, so I can probably put a base color on, maybe a pressed shadow base color, and then do uh, medium, so. So Heidi, how long have you been a presenter? And I'm just doing the beginning part of this with the lighter color. If I don't move my eyebrows. <laughs> and I fill it in. Just to the end there. Why did I do that? Uh, does anyone else do that when they do their brows? Oh, unbelievable. Now I'm going to go in with the darker one and just use the same brush and just grab it right there and go down. Sometimes I like to get the center, but I like the front to be. Now usually I apply either the lash serum or the primer, but I didn't do either. I just put the face primer on so I'm going to use the wax to seal it. So then we're going right here on the end and go down. Isn't that nice? How easy it is. I used to like the pencil until the, I got used to the brow palette. It took me a while, but I like it. So now I'm going to go with the even side of the other brush to get the wax. And I just get a little bit and just go over the, to keep it on there. Did you have a good, are you having a good day, Heidi? It's only two o'clock there, huh? Or now 210, whatever it is, yeah. And my brother lived in Arkansas. He moved to Washington State, and I have a nephew in Arkansas there. Okay, so that's the brows. 
So I can use the same palette for my eyes if I go in with a neutral color on the lid on the as a transition. Well, you know what? I just use I just go really lightly with the brown, the light brown. I do that just a tidbit. A bit more. I picked up the wrong brush. This is the crease brush. Let me go in with the deluxe. And thank goodness for blending. Now, I did not use eye primer, so I will use setting spray when I'm done this, or setting powder because that's translucent. Hi, Vixie, Vix, thanks for watching. So I'm doing my eyes with the eyebrow palette. I did my brows already and I use medium, so. How are you? Hi, Tom, thanks for joining. Okay, just a little bit on the, it's a transition color here. This is the lighter brown. Then I'll go in with the darker brown to add dimension. And we have a blending brush that is awesome, so we'll get that too. And the blending brush, here we go. Just kind of blend. So what's going on? How is everybody? Thanks for hanging in, Heidi, at least. I appreciate it. I wonder if I could tag someone. Let me see if I can invite some people, okay? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. Hi! So, I'm now going to go in with the darker color in the transition. Oh, thank you, Heidi. Um, and this one is highly pigmented. Look at that. I just did a tap. I like to go right on the brow bone because of my hooded eyes. Hi! Thanks for joining! Hi, Armstrong. Thanks for joining. You like it, huh? Nice. Thank you. So we're just going to give it a little dimension here. I have the phone turned sideways because that's how the, um, the phone holder for the, um, the thing that holds yeah, why does it called again? Oh. My tripod, that's it. Okay. So it has the phone in um, landscape versus portrait. So trying to get it up above, go a little bit more. Can always blend it. There we go. Because I have to see it when I open my eyes. Okay, so now I'll use my blending brush. Can you hear me okay? This phone picks up really good, so I have to try to use my indoor voice. I keep forgetting, and sometimes I feel like I'm shouting, so. So now we just blend. See that? That's perfect. So now if I want to use the... Um, 
highlighter here, I can. I can put it under my brow, which is a good place to put it. See how pigmented that is too? This is more of a cream here. So this cream shadow brush is great for that, so. And see how that just highlights under the brow there? And we'll just blend it. And if you want to open up the eyes, we can put some more there too. And we'll get some, put it in here. So this was the eye look with the eyebrow palette. Now I used different tools, but I did use the brow artist brush and the spoolie brush, but you get your choice of that in the kudos, so. And now the mascara. And I'm gonna use the brown mascara. Whoops, sorry about that, yeah. So see that brush? Isn't that great? It lifts and separates, and I do the bottom lash first, and I have to look down. So you'll see me looking down at a mirror. See that? That's good. I do the lower lashes first. And then I do the upper part of the upper lashes. Then come up on the lower part. And for me, it just helps the lashes pop. It wakes them up. And I turn the wand as, wand as I go. So, see that epic? No epic, on the top anyway. I have epic on the bottom. And look, I got it on my nose. So when I go to, um, we can let it dry and then it'll come off. So now I'll dip again and I usually turn, I don't pump, so. And we go down. On the upper lashes. And then up. And it just really helps mine. And our mascara is great. It doesn't clump. There's like no clumping here. So my day, I um, didn't work sun Saturday into Sunday. So um, it's great. I got to um, sleep in, but I got to have breakfast with a friend, Stosh. And that was good. And then I came home, put a load of laundry in. Waited, went, then I uh, had to go out and get a wrist support for my thumb, actually thumb and wrist support. And came back and it was time to do the live. Okay, so that is epic. And I usually use one coat only. Unless I'm going out, then I'll use more. But anyway, 
So that, and now we'll get the uh, mascara off. So I think I'll try, I'll use the liquid makeup with the concealer. I'll put the concealer on. Some people put the concealer on first and then put it on. But if you want to use your concealer as a highlight, you can put it on after. So that's what I'll do. Try and show some highlighting and contouring too. Hi, Heidi. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do one every day. Hi, Nancy. Thanks for joining. Please say hi. Hi, everybody. Please say hi when you come on. Then I can say hi to you. So I'm going to use the, uh, you got to shake this because of all the uh, minerals in here, we want to get it through. Because, and we make sure we empty the pipette, but the last time I used it, I emptied it. So, so please say hi when you come on. And I'm shaking this up and I'm going to use the foundation brush. This is awesome. So we'll put some in the pipette and put five drops on the brush here. Empty the pipette out. And we put it on the face. And the primers had time to dry. And you, I go down in a downward motion because with skin over 50, it's the best thing to do to try and be gentle when you go. And you get your ears too. You want them to be the same and down the neck. Come around here and down here. Oops, pulling too hard. Sorry. Yeah. So you see these here? We're going to get rid of them. Yeah. A blending bud here and setting spray to dampen it so we're good you know what the sponge cleaner also cleans the um, spoolie brush for the um, cleans the spoolie brush nicely and also cleans the blending buds you just wipe them along on the paper towel don't rub hard on the blending buds but it will come off so that's good I tried that, so. But most of the time I use the spoolie just on the dry, because if I apply wax, I don't comb the brow, so. Okay, so that is it, and I don't feel like I have anything on. It's amazing. I remember the makeup of long ago. You felt like you had it on. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a little concealer and the concealer side of the brush. Oh, we'll use a blending bud. Yeah. But first I'll use the concealer of the side of the brush to, um, I'll put a little bit on my wrist here. Just a little bit, see that? Whoops, I could turn it. Yeah, that much, yeah. And it's more on my finger than my wrist, okay. So. Hi, Shan Shania, how are you? We're gonna try highlighting here. We go here and here and dab in here. You just wanna make a triangle here and try and uh,
So what's going on? Good to see you. You're good? I'm good. Doing well. Thank you. Feeling good. The rain is coming, so we're getting remnants from the rain that was in South Carolina, USA. So North Carolina, too, actually, both of them. Okay, so now I'm going to take a blending bud and setting spray and do a couple squirts of setting spray and blend. Then after this, you use a setting powder to keep the concealer from moving. I was reading that the bigger blending buds are better than the smaller ones, though the smaller ones probably get in the eye area better. So, as far as blending your makeup, this would be good. And I use this with a BB cream, so, also. <laughs> So you were done school today, Shania? Are you home? Or do you stay at the dorm when you're at school? Okay, so that is a little bit better. We'll just put setting powder on now and I use the other side of the brush for the setting powder. I'm just going where I put the concealer. Though since I uh, oh yeah, I'm going to use the setting spray for that too. So, and this keeps the concealer from moving, which is nice. And that's a setting powder. Okay. So that is that. We can now contour. I'll use our contour stick. I'll grab it here. This is in light. So that's, that's the contour stick. And this is a duet collection there's the dark side has the, the dark the contour so you go from the top of your ear down just like that okay then you go on your chin this gives the appearance of no double chin or no jowls it just shades that in some people do their forehead, but I have bangs, so I won't do them. Some people do the side of their nose if they don't like it. And another thing is, hi, thanks for joining. Please say hi when you pop on. So this will go right under here. And we can blend that. But first, we'll add the highlighter now. I just have to get that down. Something came across. Let me get that out of the way. Okay. Now we'll highlight. And this goes right up here. And in between there will go the blush. And then right up here above the other. And here, and here, and down the nose, you highlight the nose, here, and here. And we'll blend that really well. So let me close that. There we go. Make sure they're secure. 
I'm going to get the contour brush and blend it. This is pretty blendable here, so that's good. I like to see the cheekbone. Okay, so now we'll add some blush. I have my favorite Serene here, and a blush brush over here. I'm going to put it between the two, then I'll blend some more. So it goes right above the contour, right below the highlighter here. Hi, Heidi. Thank you. What'd you say? I'm sorry. Oh, it's nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, nice. So, yeah, that's right. The cheeks, really, the cheekbones, yeah. So now we can blend everything in. And see, we can go here too, and up here. And see how that looks. Kind of got the contour way on that one. Um, contour stick. A little bit more here. Okay. Oops. Yeah, that's down. And that's down. Okay, just wanted to add a little more there. There we go. And blend that. Uh -huh. Hi, Dolores. How are you? Good to see you. How are you doing? Just finishing. I just did the, um, I used the brow palette for my eyes. And including the highlighter, I used the mascara in brown. I didn't do any eyeliner. That's another thing that comes, the eyeliner. So here's the eyeliner. So I will do the eyeliner too. Just above the mascara. There we go. A little thicker than I wanted. Oh, no, it's good. Okay. Usually this gets done. So this is the next item that gets included. Your choice of an eyeliner. So you get your brow palette. You get your choice of mascara. You get your choice of brush between the brow artist and the brow artist spoolie brush. And you get your choice of eyeliner. So then I could, could have gone under here too. I go under, I don't do the water lines. And I used uh, Prim Brown. So I do want a little more benevolent. Uh, no, you know what? I'll try the brow highlighter. So we'll try a little bit more of this highlighter. That's more of a cream. We can put that there and see what happens. Hi, Deb. Hi, Dolores. Yeah, thank you. I can't read what you're saying. I'll come back to it as soon as I'm done. So 
I'm just adding a little bit of contour here too. Okay, so that's that. Now for the lips. I have to put my glasses on to see. Okay. Oh yeah, it yeah, that's true. Um that takes practice, yeah. Especially a liquid eyeliner. Um I do like the Brow Artist brush. You can just um, use this if you wanted to, like the darker shade, and just go in like this and just dab it. So if you wanted to do that, you could do that too. Um, and I've done that even under the eyes. If, if you wanted to make it smoky-eyed, you could do that too, so. A little bit like that for the smoky eyed look. So now we're going to set all this and then I'll put my lips on. So I use setting spray and a blending bud because you waste a lot of spray spraying it on your face and it, it just takes a while to dry. So I do about four or five squirts on the blending bud and then just start from the top down. And I did put wax on my eyebrows, so that will stay. So I don't do the eyebrows. And this is still wet, so you just keep blending until you feel the blending bud dry. So you can keep the on your ear. I turn it around where it's still wet and get some more. I love, I love this. That I don't feel like I have anything on and I put the, uh, I'll go over what I used again. So I keep getting messages. Sorry, they keep coming up there. Okay, I'm trying to keep this centered. I don't know if that works or that way. I could probably move it so it doesn't bother the comments. Would that be better? And that way, if you have comments, you can see them and still see. How's that? That's nice. I forgot one thing on the other side. After all that, I forgot that. A little more highlight. And we'll set that. There we go. <laughs> and it's dry. Okay. So there's multiple lip things to choose. And I did treat... I did my skincare before I came on, and I started with the Touch Glorious Face Primer. It's a crime not to prime, so I started with that. I have to remember to put that in my bag. Then I used the Brow Palette for my brows and for my eyes. I used the number one as a base color a tra uh, over the lid and up to the contour, number two for the contour. And I highlighted with the, the white and um, I didn't use the pink, but I put the wax on my eyebrows, so. Then I used the Serene Blush. I used the Sculpting Trio uh, it's over here. No, I didn't. I used the cleansing stick. Sorry. I used the duet cleansing, uh, duet sculpting stick. Yeah. Sculpting stick. Sorry. Um, and I used light because my skin tone is light. I used the concealer and I used the, uh, one touch 
mineral mineral touch uh, liquid makeup I use the brown mascara the brown eyeliner and the uh, yeah, the mascara, the eyeliner. I did use the tools. You get your choice of tools that come with the kudos as well. So now we've got to find a lip color. I can use... Um, I have some, some hotties here. I can use uh, uh, Jenna, which is my favorite. Renee Rochelle, which is a gum, bubblegum pink. I can use some lips, uh, splurge lipsticks. Soft Hearted, that's the uh, pink coral. I have to put my glasses on. And I think this is spontaneous and soulful. Okay, so soulful, soft hearted or spontaneous, or I could use Jenna, which is a darker one. Uh, the concealer is Scarlet, Scarlet Concealer. I tried to use it a little bit as a highlighter. I could have, if I wanted to conceal, I could have used Velour because that's the type of um, liquid makeup I use, Velour. And because and my skin doesn't change much from the summer because I'm hardly outside. So, and if I'm outside, I'm usually under a cover or something. So, okay, so let's go with a, spl a splash liquid lipstick. So these three, soft-hearted, spontaneous, or soulful. What do you think, girls? Okay, I'll go with spontaneous. Unless I'm missing something, okay. If you comment it, it's taking a while to come through. Okay, um, spontaneous, we'll go with, okay. <laughs> oh, soft heart, S-O-L? Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so spontaneous is like a wine uh, purple one. It's a berry. Yeah, this is more like a berry. So this is a good color for me. I like berries. Oh, you didn't finish. Okay. Go ahead. Which one then? <gasps> soulful? You want soulful? Okay, I put it back. Soulful? Or soft hearted? I guess you don't want spontaneous. So. Soulful. Okay, we'll t we'll do that. Soulful. Okay. So anyway, the Splash Liquid lipsticks, they have great applicators, but it usually comes out with a lot of products. So what I like to do is take a lot off, and we can use it later. It's a sponge applicator, so we. It's good. What we can do is use a lip liner to prevent bleeding. I'm going to be washing this off anyway, so I'll save the lip liner. But normally we would do a lip liner. 
so let's see. We can go with Prudent Lip Liner. Hi, Amanda. Thanks for watching. Okay, we use Prudent Lip Liner. And now, good choice, Heidi, thanks. Nice, huh? Isn't that nice? So this is my look for today. And these these take about 10 minutes to dry and there should be no transfer, but if you eat greasy food, it will come off. Um, and I wipe my mouth, so I don't dab, I wipe. So it comes off then too. Anyway, girls, thank you for joining. It was great having you. And have a nice day and stay dry. Take care. Bye.